Alright then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome back to another centre-back legend review in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Today we have the 89 rated Frenchman Marcel Desailly. Now before I get into this review guys, as I do with a lot of reviews that I have done lately, pretty much all of the legend reviews, uh, a link is going to be down below in the description to the account of the boy that let me use his account to do this review. Without him I would not have been able to use uh, this awesome centre-back legend. Please guys, if you wouldn't mind, head on over to his account, saying a massive thank you, showing some support. That would mean the world to me. That would be absolutely insane. Going into the review itself of Marcel Desailly, I just want to mention quickly, guys, that in FIFA 14, Marcel Desailly was an absolutely incredible centre-back. For those of you that were lucky enough to use him or even pack him even, you will know exactly what I am talking about. And I am so glad to tell you guys, so glad to tell you that this... This year, absolutely nothing has changed. This card, centre-back card, is absolutely incredible. Going into the weaknesses and strengths that I did find, the only weakness that I did find that I had to mention, um, even though it is pretty crappy for a centre-back, you know, it's not necessarily a must, is his shooting. Um, his shooting is pretty terrible for me. I did try attempting long shots on, on uh, the odd occasion, uh, but it just failed for me. So if for some some reason you were hoping Marcel Desailly to have good shooting unfortunately guys he is going to disappoint you but other than that it's pretty much perfect when you think of all the you know the important stats and the important qualities that you expect to have in a center back Marcel Desailly is what you can call top quality pace with this guy is absolutely incredible 82 pace on the card is just ridiculous pace to have in a center back and I gotta say his pace is insane he feels like it guys and on occasion he did actually catch up to a lot of pacey players that made me feel like he had more than that so that was a very very nice surprise and very very nice thing to feel in game he's got awesome strength this is something that you need to have in your center backs in my opinion guys very very good strength and he feels very strong in game he's got the pace to catch up to attack and he's got the strength to easily muscle them off the ball is exactly what you want your centre-backs to do his positioning was awesome for me what I love about this guy is that he's got the perfect work rate also he's got awesome defending capabilities he's got awesome pace he's got awesome positioning he's got awesome work rates you know he's got the perfect work rates that you want to see in a centre-back low attacking high defending like I said exactly what you want to see in a centre-back aerial ability for me with this guy was absolutely insane also he's not the sort of center back that would score me goals or anything like that it's me getting unlucky I think guys because I never score header goals from corners with my center backs this year in ultimate team maybe it's me getting unlucky constantly I don't know uh, but when it came to you know intercepting the ball from goal kicks and stuff like that he would jump like seven eight nine ten foot in the air and win the ball like that it was absolutely crazy and it just made me enjoy using him that much more you know considering that he's got awesome pace defending strength positioning and add aerial ability to that you know it's just incredible to have all that in one center back you know he's got good dribbling and ball control i will say for a center back i wanted to mention it because usually when i use center backs for reviews and stuff like that and a lot of times when i pass the ball to my defenders their touch would give the ball away not once did Desai do that for me. His touch was instant and he would just control it instantly and then use his awesome passing to either whip the ball over the top to my attack or distribute the ball guys to the midfield. His passing in general for me was absolutely incredible. Now, final thoughts on the legend Marcel Desai. I've got to say, even though his price tag is tremendous, it is absolutely insane. I think as of making this review, guys, he goes for about two and a half to three million coins, which is just incredible. No doubtedly, by the time you're watching this review, uh, his price tag would have gone up because the market is yet again going crazy. Um, it's... I'm, I'm starting to get used to players crazy prices nowadays um, and I've started to get used to you know you you have to pay the price basically for the better players and Desai is easily one of the best centre backs in the whole of ultimate team and if you have to pay you know what two and a half three three and a half four million whatever Desai goes for um, I gotta say it's worth doing it because the boy is absolutely incredible easily one of my favorite centre-back legends that I have 
you so far uh, and easily one of my favorite defenders on a whole uh, that I have used so far he's just absolutely incredible one of the best defenders easily guys that's going to wrap up my Marcel Desailly player review let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of him if you have used him yourself leave a like guys smash that like button if you did enjoy and if it did help you decide whether or not to buy him yourself subscribe for more legend reviews to come very soon and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys